so okay so why is it important to you know make wise fabric decisions for cosplay um why is fabric important at all for for your costume well costumes made of fabric so you have to choose something um, for one thing the fabrics you choose are going to make your costume unique um many people cosplay the same character and if they use the same fabrics, they'll look the same, but your fabric choices are going to make your costume unique. Um, and that's, I think, really important for cosplayers, just to sort of, since it's an art, to sort of individualize their own costume and make it their own. Just And the first way to do that is picking out fabric, and then all your construction methods uh, work out later, but fabric is, is the first step, I think. Um, and so different types of garments are going to require different types of fabric. If it's pants, if it's a shirt, if it's ba a ball gown or if it's jeans or if it's a t-shirt, you're going to need a different type of fabric just because that garment has different stresses on it just in the way you wear it. And so you want a different type of fabric um, because not all fabrics work for every type of garment. Um, and so you just kind of want to mix it up a little bit. And different types of fabrics respond differently to the methods you need to use to make your, co you need to use to make your costume. Um, methods like dyeing and specific types of ironing, if you need like really sharp pleats in your skirt, you're going to want a different type of fabric than if you want, you know, like no folding at all, um, and like no ironing necessary. Um, and different types of fabric are going to respond differently to methods like dyes and heat. Um, and if you need to do those, and if you know ahead of time that you're going to need to do that, you can plan accordingly and pick fabric that it will work best for that kind of method. Okay, and different characters will wear different fabrics. So if you're a queen or a magical princess or something like that, you're going to wear different fabrics than the Street Fighter guys. <laughs> I hope that's relatively <coughs> obvious, but some people that I've seen still kind of make interesting choices. So that's kind of that. And so distinguishing fabrics, every fabric has these four important elements, um, which will affect the look, feel, and workability of your costume. Um, these four are not by any means the only elements to any fabric, but they're the four that every fabric has in some degree. And so the first one is color. It's got to have a color. Even if it's white or black, it's a color. Um, and so what does it look like? Sometimes it has patterns on it, and that all kind of works into color. Um, weight. And this is a big one for some types of garments. How thick or heavy is it? Um, or how thin it is? Or how light it is? Sometimes they're even so light that they're see-through. Um, it's going to matter uh, when you're going to make your costume. And then texture. What does it feel like? It could be smooth, it could be rough, it could be fuzzy, anything like that. It's got to have a texture um, because it is a physical thing and you can hold it in your hands and feel it. Wow. And fiber content. Um, this actually is not going to matter for every type of, every costume you make, um, but it is super important for some things. Um, and that's what it's made of. What type of natural or synthetic material is your fabric actually comprised of in the factory, like what, where does it actually come from, um, rather than just what type of fabric it is. Okay, um, and so let's talk about, talk about color. Oh, you know what, before that, um, I have these goodie bags full of fabric, and these are totally different, so I'm going to start one here and one in the back, and you guys can just sort of look through it, Ooh. and, um, I've labeled each one for what type of fabric they are, and there's between them almost 50 different types of fabric, so if you don't want to like look at each one, you know, closely, then that's fine. Um, I do kind of would like, you know, by the end of the session for everybody to have some chance to look at some of them. Um, but go back through just what I've said about the four elements and sort of observe each fabric uh, just in what type it is, how heavy is it, how light is it. Does it shine? You can, you know, compare the two, hold them next to each other. Um, also, maybe keep in mind what quality you feel in the fabric. If it's kind of rough and papery versus if it's really oh. nice and soft, what happened? Oh no! Okay. Um, oh, it did. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Oh.